It's YouTube time. It's YouTube time. It's YouTube time. All right, focus, Ben. Focus, focus. Greetings, Earthlings. It's Ben Aqua. I did a video recently about Printful, which is a drop shipping and t-shirt printing mug and phone case printing company. Basically, you upload your design to Printful. You link your store on Shopify or Etsy or Amazon or other platforms. And then when you get an order on your store, Printful will print your shirt. They will even ship it for you. I've gotten a bunch of questions on the previous video I did about Printful. And I wanted to do a Q&A video where I take some of the most common questions I've been getting and I answer them just for you, my glorious viewers. Let's get into it. Question number one, how well do the shirts hold up after several washes? I would say the shirts hold up pretty well. This is one that has been washed probably about four or five times. Colors still look pretty vivid to me. They're not going to be as crazy vivid as a luxury shirt that you buy from a brand for a couple hundred dollars. The shirt that I'm wearing right here, this one's been washed probably three or four times as well. And it still looks nice and contrasty. The lines still look nice and sharp. I think it's pretty good quality. How will it work with Shopify? Printful integrates with all of the major e-commerce solutions such as Shopify, Etsy, Amazon, Squarespace. Basically what you do is you upload your design to Printful and the store platform that you're using and you sync the store to your Printful account so that whenever you get an order, it sends the order to Printful and they automatically print it and ship it for you. With adding prices to your shirts, is that with the shipping costs included or do you have to keep in mind that you also have to pay the shipping cost afterwards or how does that work? Printful does not take a percentage of your sale. They charge you just for the shirt, the production cost and the shipping cost. So when you're pricing all your products on your store, make sure that you include shipping and the production cost that Printful incurs. Are you making pretty good sales with Printful? How do you market to your niche? I think photography is the best way to market your product, especially because t-shirts are so visual and I feel like most consumers probably want to see what your product looks like in the real world. So I'll take my shirt, I'll put it on a couple friends, I'll go to some cool location, and I take the photos and stylize them in a way that I think would appeal to my crowd. Whatever your marketing niche is, think about what kind of aesthetic they might be into, and maybe hire a photographer or do the photos yourself on your phone, and just get some really nice product photos that'll show off what your brand is all about. Another thing that I think works really well is influencer marketing. If you have some friends that have a bunch of followers or whatnot, you can send them your product for free and just ask them to take a picture of themselves in your product or maybe do a post with your stuff in there and they'll tag your brand. In my experience, that almost seems to sell more shirts than my own photos of my products on my Instagram. Some of my followers even send me their own photos of them wearing my shirts. I'll repost those posts or post those to my Instagram story. And I feel like once people get that visual connection that, oh yeah, there's a community of people around your brand that are wearing your stuff, that are enjoying it and they're excited about it, sync up with that, repost some stuff, use relevant hashtags on your Instagram. And I think that people will really respond to those and you'll sell more stuff overall. Can you get custom tags with Printful? And can Printful make labels for shirts, hats, etc., and sew them onto my product? Printful does allow you to to print custom tags on the inside of your shirt or even on the outside back of your shirt for an extra $2.50. And with tags, they allow you to do a three inch by three inch design on the outside or inside of the shirt. Here's an example of one of my shirts where I printed my custom label on the back of the shirt. I think adding a custom tag design is a really good thing for marketing and for strengthening your brand overall. It adds an extra touch of professionalism and completeness to the design, and I think it makes your product look more legit. It'll help with your brand recognition. You can put your hashtag on there, do what you want. It's all good. At the moment, Printful does not do sew-on or embroidered tags for shirts, but I did get an email recently from them where they kind of hinted that they were going to add that in the future. So something to look out for. Is the Anvil or Bella Canvas shirt thicker? Are either of them see-through in white? The Anvil 980 shirt is slightly thicker than the Bella Canvas 3001 shirt, but overall I prefer the Bella Canvas shirt. It's a little thinner. It's a little silkier and smoother than the Anvil shirt. It just feels like a nice high quality shirt and I love wearing it. And with both the Anvil and the Bella Canvas shirts, they're a little bit see-through, but not to the point where you get to see through everything. One thing you want to keep in mind though, is if you do a custom tag on a white shirt, it's gonna bleed through a little bit on the other side. Don't they also do screen printing? Yes. 
Printful does screen printing as well. I haven't tried screen printing with them, but their prices seem pretty good overall. All the shirts that I've done so far have been direct to garment, and I've been pretty satisfied with the quality. My current gripe is that it's taking a week just to be fulfilled before entering shipping. Is that normal? It's slightly unpredictable, but overall they usually take just a few days and it's really not that much of a wait. Sometimes it'll take seven or eight days to print the shirt, so it's a little disconcerting here and there, but most of the time they usually take about three or four days to print the shirt and then they'll ship it out, which takes another three or four days as well. The color issue is with the designer, not the printer. What are you what are you trying to say? You need to correct this using a color matching system or color correcting system. Your color issue is your designing in RGB and I can tell because your colors are way too bright in this video versus CMYK. So if you haven't seen my other Printful video, I sent a shirt that was just an RGB design in Illustrator and here's how the shirt came out. It looks really nice overall except this turquoise area came out a little too dark and the blues are kind of washed out. What I didn't do for that first video is color correct my shirts for Printful's printers and the way to do that is by ordering samples of their swatches, which are basically a bunch of colors printed onto a shirt and there's a white version of this and a black version because the printing process is different for white shirts versus any kind of color shirt. Find the color that you think looks best for the color you're going for. So if this orange looks really good on the shirt with this color, you look at the RGB values for that color right next to the swatch and then you go into Photoshop and Illustrator and you change the RGB values to the three values next to the color. The colors look pretty different on the black version as well. So I would highly recommend getting the black sample shirt and also the white sample swatch shirt. So then I went back into that original design and I changed out the colors for the turquoise, the blue. I matched them up with the swatches on the print sample swatch shirt and the colors actually came out a lot better. So over here this is the original sample that I got and then over here this is the color corrected turquoise. So you can see that it makes a difference doing the color matching thing with the swatch shirts. What do you think about Printify? Would you ever consider trying Custom Cat? There are several other companies that do what Printful does such as Printify, Teespring, Custom Cat. The only other company that I've personally tried is Threadless. And just for the sake of comparison, this is the shirt that I got from Threadless. Honestly, I was really disappointed in the colors on this shirt. I had higher expectations for Threadless because they're well known for being a really high quality t-shirt printer. This shirt in my opinion is just lacking so much saturation in the colors. It almost looks like it's been washed several times. Just to show you the two together side by side. You can see that the colors in the threadless shirt over here are super washed out and weird and they weren't anything like they were on the screen in my original design. And then the printful shirt, even after several washes, looks much better. It looks much more saturated. And overall, Printful just wins. I mean, this looks amazing for the price. How to deal with refunds and return requests of product. How Printful works with returns and refunds, you log into your dashboard, you'll go to the order where you have an issue with it. Basically, you'll leave them a comment on what you think was wrong with your shirt. I've done this a few times with shirts that had weird misprints and stuff, and it seems like Printful is super on top of their customer support game. I usually got a response from them within a couple hours, and they were able to send me full refunds. So if you ever have a problem with them, returns and refunds funds are super easy. Final question. I have a question about the 150 DPI needed for Printful. Will it not print out correctly if I put the print file at 300 DPI or will it be all right? It says at least 150 DPI. Printful suggests that you upload your design at at least 150 DPI in resolution. They can be higher than that. They can be 300, 600, whatever. Just make sure it's at least 150. If you're uploading vector graphics like through an Illustrator file or a PDF, it really doesn't matter what the resolution for that file is because you can always stretch out the vector graphic infinitely and you won't lose any of the quality. One of the strange things about their guidelines for submitting your work though is that they ask you to submit your designs in RGB but for shirts they end up being converted into CMYK anyway. So it's a little confusing in terms of color correction because what you see on your screen is not going to be the same as what you get on the actual shirt. So keep that in mind when you're creating your designs. So those are the questions that I feel like would help most people get started with Printful. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments, or you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at B3NAQUA. And while you're at it, please demolish that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're feeling amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I did a video recently about Printful. <laughs> Printful. I did a video. I did a video recently about. Blah. All right, I got my focus. It's focused on my eyeball. I'm here. I'm in it to win it. Why did the focus go out of my damn face?